Oh, hey there, everybody. Hi. It's me, Mr. Grumpy. As you can see, it's the ne next day out, and uh, it might look like a nice day, but it really isn't. They say it's supposed to be. Today, it's really cold now, alright, over here. And yeah, you could say I shouldn't be complaining. It's gonna get even colder, but I mean. Let me just tell you guys something, all right, before you start jumping to conclusions. It's like 30, they said it's supposed to be like 38 degrees out today. And guess what the low is going to be for tonight? Tw 23. Although I think there was already a video done about that, but... <clears throat> Sorry, I just got up a couple minutes ago, so... Uh, apologies for if I'm... Well, anyways, um, so I'm just going to give you guys the update about... McGerra Nuggets, uh, if I'm going to still see him or not. So am I going to still see him? Yes. Because I, I need to, you know, I need to confront him about his sins, about what he's done, you know, and, and Benson, I think he still wants to co go too, because he wants to confront Psycho Dad about his sins, if you know what I'm saying, like, he basically wants to confront Psycho Dad about how he treated everybody, especially Jesse and, and Parker, and it's me, it's for the same reason, but there's actually, but he treat, treated more people like that, and did more, Let's just say that Jesse did more bad things than Psycho Dad did. You know, and, like, Psycho Dad only destroyed his camera. And, yeah, maybe he's getting after Jesse over the YouTube thing. But, I mean, Jesse did a lot more than Psycho Dad did. But still, I guess, I guess Ben's is just angry at him because of the fact that he's not getting after Jesse on everything else. Well, he is and he isn't, alright? Like, he's getting, he's getting after Jesse over the things that he did do. Like, kidnapping his wife and doing drugs and all that. But he's also getting after Jesse because, what, he wants to stop doing YouTube? Like, that is bull. And I'll also give you guys on the update on Benson in a minute, but I wanted to tell you guys a little quick story, actually, about an encounter that I had with a person who claimed to be Psycho Dad. And this is on YouTube, too. Like, not this is not real life. This is on YouTube. So let me tell you this story right now. So it was about two years ago. In April 2015, yeah, it was April 2015 during the Psycho series, and that was also the time when Jesse was kicked out, and I think he went over to Uncle Larry's house. It was somewhere in the middle of April, maybe getting later to April, and basically, <laughs> I I had this encounter with somebody who actually claimed to be Psycho Dad, and so I went over to his channel, and... I was, I was a little bit surprised because Psycho Dad doesn't know YouTube, but he's sort of like, like, he was sort of like against it, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was sort of like against it. Let me sit down. But this man, this person, you know, was saying that he is Psycho Dad, and he, he, he was trying to prove me something, like showing me a picture of, like, he was trying to show me, like, an article about Mr. Ridgeway. But anyways, yeah. I mean, if he really was Psycho Dad, why would he have, why would he have a thing, why would he have a channel called Psycho Dad? Although this guy, you know, this person actually did change his name like three times. So first it was Psycho Dad, that was his YouTube channel name. And no, not the Psycho Dad like that has about 100 and something thousand subscribers. No, this one, this one had about 100 and something. He had, he had, he had over 100 subscribers, okay? This isn't the Psycho Dad YouTube channel that you guys usually know. No, this is a different Psycho Dad. No, but basically... <clears throat> He kept saying that he is Psycho Dad, and so I thought I would take the opportunity to pretty much question why he treated his son like, why he was treating his son like crap, why he was destroying his crap, and why he kicked him out. And I forgot what his son and his replies were, but, you know, for a while, you know, I've been, we've been talking back and forth, you know, I've been talking to this guy, and then at some point he actually revealed his age, saying that he was 54. And so, because he said that, I thought maybe, but then about, but then when I looked actually Jeff Psycho Dad up, when I looked him up on the internet, I, I saw that his real age, and this was like maybe a couple of months ago, and it said 53, so I guess this guy really wasn't Psycho Dad, but basically, to cut the crap, <clears throat> to, to make a long story short, because I don't want to make this too long, uh, basically... The final straw that I had was when Psycho Dan came over to Uncle Larry's house, and he and Uncle Larry had the argument, and he started like he started like invading Jesse's tent, all right, and they had the argument, and so after that, you know, and the argument, and the reason why Psycho Dan came over to Jesse's tent was because he assumed 
He just went on and assumed that Jesse broke, destroyed the trophies. He destroyed, he thought that Jesse destroyed the rest of the trophies, when really, Jeffrey did. He's the one that destroyed the rest of the trophies. But then eventually, Psycho Dad realized, but then eventually, Psycho Dad realized that, and Psycho Dad reacts to one million juggies. I think that's what it's called. But anyways, yeah, and yeah. But um, basically, because of, because of Psycho Dad fights Uncle Larry, what Psycho Dad did there, I was like, Yo, why'd you do that, man? That's uncool. And I said things like that. And you want to know what he replied? And when I said that stuff, I, I commented on two of his comments. I think when he posted two comments, I posted really hate comment on him. And guess what he said? Guess what he said? He said, fuck you. He really, no, he did. He, this guy who claimed to be Psycho Dad posted a comment saying, saying, fuck you. And I don't know why. Like, I, got, I was questioned by that, like, why would he say that? And then I did reply back saying, oh, that's just nice. And then I did, I think I, I forgot what I said, though, because eventually his channel got terminated. And so, uh, yeah, I couldn't keep on replying. I couldn't keep on commenting on him anymore. But basically, so just, re just to re recap what I'm saying, all right. First, this guy's channel was called Psycho Dad. Then, he, then it was Jeffrey T. Ridgeway. And then it just turned into Jeff Ridgeway. Like, he, he changed so many times. And he was a... And he's a, And I still am thinking, like, if he's really the legit real Psycho Dad. And he's saying that he is. But if he really was the real Psycho Dad, how come that a couple months later on, in 2015, in, like, July 2015, he just realized that people are calling him Psycho Dad? How come he just realized that? So if he... And but then Jesse, when he was kicked out in two thousand in April two thousand fifteen, he 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 did make a note saying that to all the Psycho Dad channels, they're not real. That that it's not actually him. So um, yeah. So that's basically the story. Um, I I was uh, I pretty much commented on this guy's channel who claimed to be Psycho Dad, and yeah, I but I don't now I'm starting to think and you know. At that time, I wasn't really, I really shouldn't have thought of, like, giving you guys an update then. Like, maybe not me specifically, but, like, the, the, the creator probably shouldn't have given you guys the update about this guy who claimed to be Psycho Dad giving me an argument, but I never did, because at that time, I just wasn't really thinking of that, you know, I just, I just wasn't really thinking. And then it came to, a, then there came a point where I was, I actually got jealous of this Psycho Dad guy. Because he had about 115 subscribers or 100 and something subscribers, I can't remember. And at that time, I only had like 10, maybe. I only had like 10 subscribers. And I got jealous of this guy because literally he had no videos. But yet, I have like a couple, only a couple, few subscribers. And this guy has over 100, and I let him know that. But then, guess what he did? Guess what he did? He subbed, he actually subbed to my channel. So after everything I said to him, he actually subbed to my channel. So all respects to, to you who subbed to my channel, all right? And I guess I apologize for your channel getting shut down or if you, if he, maybe he shut it down, but. All right, look, I'm going to stop rambling, rambling about this. I just want to tell you guys the story about who I thought the person was Psycho Dad, but I'm starting to think now that he really isn't because he really wouldn't be calling himself Psycho Dad. All right. So, I mean, that's it. Sorry. But now, I'm going to give you guys the update on Benson. And sorry if that was too long, you guys. And here, let me here, let me close, open these blinds. It's dark in here. Yeah, pour it over there, all right? Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. So, I want to give you guys some more light. So, yeah, so, looking at this side right now. You can see that it's... Looks nice out, but it really isn't. And so, now we're going to give you guys the update on Benson. Alright. Oh, there's Amy Grandpa. Alright, so I'm going to... I don't get this guy, you know what I'm saying? Wait, what? I use this right now with the guy in camera. You know what, man? I don't care. I mean, the real Amy Grandpa, he would probably want... He would probably want to be filmed right now because he's currently in the hospital. Did you know that? Huh? Did you? Hey! Leave him alone. You know what, man? You you guys have no respect for nothing. Oh, uh, Benson, I I see 
you have your red face on. Wait, how, well, how do you know that he was giving me a hard time? Well, I was just sleeping. I was resting here, and I had to wait a while for this super glue. So you see, I had to get this super glue, and it was a pain in the ass. Let me tell you, to get my face super glued in. And it finally got done. Ugh. It finally got done. And he's not gonna go and give you a hard time, but yeah, angry grandpa is currently in the hospital, so he probably would want him. He would probably want to be filmed. Well, you want me to turn back to your normal face? No, leave me like this. But I think I'll be. But I think I'll be ready to see Psycho Dead. All right. I think I will be ready to see him. Yeah, all right, yeah, so I'm just gonna give you, I, I actually was gonna give you an update about how you were doing. Yeah, I'm doing fine. And I'm staying in this face, you know, until I think that this stuff has really dried off. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Ruffy? Yeah. But yeah, this is the update on Benson. He's finally got his new red face on. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get destroyed, you know, early. Because we, I think we put in more tape in like the back of him. I'm not going to show you that, but we had to put in more tape in the back side of him. Here. In the back side because we didn't want to risk him like getting tear, torn apart because he's in you know, our pocket. He's in the crater's pocket a lot, in his jacket pocket. And look, it's a long story with that. We're not going to tell you too much. But here, let me open the blinds on. So final question would be, am I going to see Jesse Ridgway or me Jerry Nuggets? Yes, I will still see him. That's right, we're going to see him, because I need to see his dad. I need to confront him of all the things that he's done. I need to confront him. Hey, whoa. I need to confront him. He is not getting away with this. You hear me? Mr. Ridgeway, you are not getting away. You are not going to get away with it. Okay, yeah, I'll just leave you alone now. Yeah, I think I need to be left alone. Wow, and you say that I'm crazy, man. Look, this guy's going crazy right here. You're insane, man. You were getting out of my face, all right? Man, you know what? You, you, and you're telling me telling me not to get nuts on him. You're getting nuts on him. Look, this is for a different reason, all right? Can you get the hell out of here? Fine, then, all right? I will. But I just want you know that the real me is in the hospital right now, just recovering, probably, and maybe getting out of the ICU, all right? Can you at least appreciate that? Can you respect that? Yes, of course I respect that, all right? But that right now, you, angry grandpa, is being an asshole right now. You know what? I'm done. I hope you got your film, all right? Well, he's doing a, well, he's doing a video. Oh, Benson, leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, look, I don't want to argue anymore. I'm done. All right. Well, sorry about that, guys. I got a little... But I don't know what the, I don't know what to do with that is, but yeah. So um, are we gonna see majority of the yeah, And I I, wanted, I just wanted to tell you guys about the encounter with the with that with this person who claimed to be psycho dead. And I'm gonna turn this camera off now. This is taking too long. Yeah, it took too long. Okay, yeah, I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you alone, down Vincent. Please do. All right. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll, I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys the update while I'm in the car to see what, and I'll let you guys know whether or not I, if I found Uncle Larry's phone number. Because if I if I do find his phone number, then I'll call him and I'll let him know to let Jesse know that I'll be coming over. But if I don't find it, then well, I I'll just go because I have a gate anyway, so it's not like I'm gonna be at his door just randomly. He'll have a gate and. They have an alarm that will go off, and hopefully, hopefully they'll let me in. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, and, and I want you guys. All right, so let me try it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to keep it rigid. And I'll let you guys know if if I'll be in the car or not going to Majora's house if I found Uncle Larry's phone number. All right, keep it rigid.